Of course, another aspect of the story is what happens with the officers, those who go undercover, those who have to pretend as if they are underage girls. Joining me now, Detective Sergeant Trung, uh, you've seen this over the last decade here with York Region. For you personally, this is disturbing material. Yeah, it's just, every, every case is disturbing. Every case is upsetting as well, right? How do you separate this when you go home for yourself and, and the undercover officers, separate work from home life? Well, it, you know, it's a challenge that any other profession is in policing. Um, you know, that's why we have a very close team. The investigators, uh, our team works very close together. There's uh, lots of supervision. Uh, we have supports within the organization that uh, help officers deal with trauma and uh, secondary trauma um, and it's just a matter of, of training and being aware and um, you know it, it the best the best thing helps uh, our officers is the closeness of the team and just talking about it um, you know we I've had endless discussions with my colleagues people that work I work with work for me um, about um, you know, when cases bother them and disturb and are disturbing. It's not just these undercover cases. These cases uh, are very difficult because, um, you know, it's not, it's not uncommon for us to encounter um, a child that's been harmed and us not doing everything we can to help that child. It, the feeling of the inability to help that child is very difficult. So it's, 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 it's policing in general. It's hard. Being in human trafficking, um, which is, it's difficult. It, it really is difficult. There are different types of investigations. There, it's a whole different world of policing. I find, um, but there's another, there's another unit that doesn't get, um, you know, the recognition that they deserve, and it's the ICE unit. It's the Internet Child Exploitation Team. Um, we have that team as well, and, and those investigators are um, looking at and viewing videos and images of horrific things that are happening to very young children. So it's not just human trafficking and policing in general. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of trauma that comes with it. It doesn't surprise me anymore, but it's, it really is upsetting to, uh, to see that um, there's still a demand for young prostituted children.